Hello and welcome to the vlog. My name is Austin Joseph Miller and I will be your host for today. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my life hacks. The people that know me well know that I am an organization freak. Uh, I have a lot of weaknesses and a lot of things I'm working on every single day, but one of my top strengths is staying organized. So I'm going to share my top three tricks for staying organized in this crazy world that we live in. Trick number one is tasks and checklists. I am a big fan of writing things down. It's very easy to go about our lives and be overwhelmed with all the things we have to do throughout the day. So basically when I have something come up that I need to remember that I need to do later, I write it down right away. I use an app called Todoist uh, to keep track of all my tasks. You can also use the notes app on your iPhone or smart device. You can use the reminders app. You can use Wonderlist. There's a lot of different apps available for you. Uh, but the main key here is write it down. If I need to remember to call somebody or get groceries or do laundry or wish someone a happy birthday, I write things down right away so that I can clear it from my head and I promise you I sleep like a baby. Before I started doing this a couple years ago, uh, I felt like I would go to bed and I would not be able to sleep because I had all these things swirling around in my head that I needed to remember to do the next day. And start, when I started to do this, I had a complete peace of mind because I was able to release these things from my head. Something else that I do with these tasks uh, in my Todoist app that I use is I always organize the tasks for the day the night before. So pretty much one of the last things I'll do every day is I'll go through my calendar for the next day and I'll go through all my tasks and I'll organize and sort them out uh, in kind of a priority order or a chronological order for when I'm going to do them throughout the following day. Also with apps like Todoist, you can set recurring tasks. So if there are things you need to remember to do every week or every couple weeks, um, for me, it's taking the garbage out to the street. Uh, it's every other Thursday, but if I don't have it written down in my app, I'll forget to do it. Uh, so every other Thursday, I get a reminder to take my garbage out to the street. Simple as that. So in addition to using a task management app, um, I'm really big on checklists and routines for things throughout the day that you can kind of automate. I read a book recently called Free to Focus, and it was all about uh, kind of automating the different things in your life that you do every single day. And it's basically to uh, ensure that you don't forget to do those things and that they kind of just become uh, a force of habit. Uh, so I have different routines throughout the day. I have a morning routine, I have an evening routine, uh, I have kind of a work startup routine and a work wrap up routine to kind of start and end the day at work. Um, I have a marketing routine that I do. So I kind of looked at my life and looked at all the different things that I do consistently every single day. Uh, and I created routines for each of those different things. So for example, I, I, I created a morning routine video uh, a few months ago, but my morning routine includes things like uh, going to the gym, reading, uh, journaling, affirmations, visualizations, drinking lots of water, thinking about three things that I'm thankful for. Um, these are all things that are within my morning routine, but I have a checklist in my phone uh, or I can basically reference it as I'm going through my morning routine of all the things I remember to do and check things off as I go. Same thing with my work startup routine. So um, I try not to check email constantly throughout the day because I feel like it bombards me when I do that. Uh, so I check my email at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. So my uh, work startup routine includes checking my email, reviewing my calendar for the day, um, checking all the different social media platforms, checking in with my team. Uh, these are all things that are part of my startup routine, which again gives me peace of mind because I don't have to constantly remember or think about all the things I have to do. It's just automated within a checklist that I go to and check things off as I go. And that leads me to trick number two, which is using your calendar and time blocking. Um, I'm a big fan of the Google Calendar and I literally, I'm a little obsessive about it, but I plan out literally every hour of the day. Um, if you look at my calendar, every single hour has something in it. Uh, and I block out literally everything. So I block out my morning routine, I block out um, all work stuff, all meetings, hanging out with friends, doing laundry, working out, all the different things that are the most important to me in my life. Um, I make sure end up on my calendar so that I don't forget them. For me, one of the most important parts of my business is marketing and finding clients. Um, for our team to work with. And if I don't have time blocked out every single day to do this, it's really, really easy to just go throughout the day, get busy with everything else that comes up and neglect this important part of the business. Time blocking is really about being intentional with your time and having a plan for every hour of the day. Obviously things come up and plans change and you're not gonna be able to stick to your exact calendar every single day. That's fine, you can be flexible, you can be malleable with it. It really just helps going into the day with a plan for the day so that you don't kind of sit there twiddling your thumbs not knowing what to do. Again, make time for the most important things in your life. Um, if going to the gym is super important to you, if spending time with your family, taking your kids to school, whatever it may be, I find it super helpful to make a list of all those most important things first 
uh, before you even put them in a calendar, have the list of the most important things, then put those in the calendar, kind of the big rocks first, and then you can fill in everything else after that. Now my third trick for staying organized is about organizing your email. Uh, if you're like me and just about everyone else on this planet, you get hundreds and hundreds of emails every single day. Most of them are spam emails, um, which are kind of mixed in with the important emails, which can be stressful in and of itself. So I have a few simple tips for keeping your email inbox organized. Tip number one is unsubscribe from all the junk email. If you get a ton of junk email right now, it might take some time at first to go through these and unsubscribe. Um, but a good habit that I've gotten into is basically whenever I receive a junk email, I go and hit unsubscribe right away. And then I know that I'm not gonna get that again in the future. Another great way to declutter your email inbox is to use folders. I am a huge advocate for inbox zero, uh, which basically means that you have zero emails in your inbox at the end of the day. Uh, and a way to achieve this is by using folders. Uh, so basically what I do when I'm going through my emails at the beginning of the day and the end of the day, every email that I see, I deal with it right away. So if it's a junk email or trash, I'll unsubscribe, I'll hit the trash button. Um, if it's an important email, I'll respond to it and then I'll sort it accordingly. So I have email folders for every important thing uh, in my business. I have them kind of categorized based on uh, all the different areas of the business. And once I respond to an email, once I deal with it, I drop it into that folder and then I release it from my brain. I don't have to worry about uh, going back to it later because I know that it's officially dealt with. So again, being able to sleep at night and having peace of mind is super important to me. Uh, so having a clean email inbox is a great way to achieve that. So that is the end of the vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did get something out of it, please let me know. I'd really appreciate any input or feedback. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to hear from me in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.